Hi, welcome to Lance Campers. My name is Gary Conley, National Sales Manager for Lance Camper Manufacturing. As you can see here, we're standing next to our 2020 product uh, with our brand new graphics that we've designed. Uh, this is an optional graphic that's a mountain scene. Uh, this product has been on our truck campers for a number of years, and now we've made it an option for our new travel trailers. And if we step over to the side here, there's some new features that we put on our new travel trailers for 2020. A lot of people want to boondock camp, and when they boondock, sometimes having a generator is really important. And what we've done is that we've incorporated an insulated slam latch um, lock on this here with ventilation that allows your generator to be in stored inside, as well as a fuel can. Um, this way you can move your portable generator outside. And it also has a real convenient toy lock, which is down at the bottom here, which you can see. This way you can put your generator down, lock it up so nobody would steal your generator. This product is available on everything from our 16-footer on up in our travel trailer line, new for 2020. A couple other features that we have that are new for this year as well inside here is that we have one master key um, for the trailer. Now when I say master key, that means key to like for this unique trailer, that which includes the entry door lock, which is unique. So you don't have to worry about somebody having a key to come in and steal any of your things. Something that's a standard feature on our product as well is a convenient pullout tray, which you'll see here. New for this year as well is that we have a lithium battery that is available on our product. So now you can order two 100 amp go power lithium batteries on our trailers, on our travel trailers for 2020. Additionally, we offer two 190 watt solar panels, which will give you 380 watts of solar coming into the batteries. Um, you can order one panel or two, and that's complete on all of our travel trailer line. Additionally, we have a 1500 watt inverter that is available to basically run microwave and possibly hair dryers and things of that nature. So if you're really into boondocking, Lance is gonna take you there, get you on top of that mountain, overlooking everything that is so beautiful in this wonderful country that we have. So as we walk down, you're gonna see here on this travel trailer, we've installed some Euro windows. These are all dual pane windows that have a bulb seal gasket behind it which means that you're not gonna have transfer of condensation inside of the unit. These windows also open up all the way and there's a pull down screen as well as a shade that pulls up from the bottom as well. So basically you can take glare out as well as allow air to come in. A new feature that we have too for this year on our 2020 models is we have 15 inch Goodyear tires made in the USA that are brand new on all of our travel trailers with the exception of our 14 and uh, 15 foot models. So um, we really like buying things that are made in the USA. Uh, we believe in buying local and using local. So Lance is a company that's been in business for over 55 years. And some of these features that we look at on our travel trailers, which include Dexter axles, which are made right here in the USA as well, which are also torsion. So as we walk down, this trailer has a lot of storage. Um, some things that, that, that we've incorporated are a nice side ladder, additional storage all the way through, and slam latches, which are on side the trailer. Another real key important feature when you're looking at a travel trailer is that you have items that are dirty, such as electrical cords, uh, water hoses, things that might touch the ground. And then you think, well, where do I store those items? And what we've done here at Lance is we provided a compartment that allows you to put all of those items in. This here's our new model 2075 and it has some unique features on this particular model. The first thing is we have a rear kitchen. So if you're tailgating or just camping in a nice spot and you need the extra room, um, you're basically utilizing the whole back of half of your trailer so we're not encroaching on your camping side. As well as sometimes you know when you pull into a camping spot some of the best views are actually from the back of your trailer. So this allows you to have a two burner stove, sink, nice counter, in addition, we have a 12 volt uh, refrigerator that is here outside as well. This feature here is, uh, is an optional feature on this particular model. Um, another thing that, that you take when you go camping is chairs. So once this slides in, in this cavity here, it allows you to put your chairs in there. And it'll hold up to three really nice uh, stackable chairs. 
Um, but if you have bag chairs or something like that, those will fit in there. So you're not tripping over chairs. Everything kind of has your place on this new 2075 model. We have some other really unique features that are very functional. First off, we have a puck here that allows you to move your TV outside. One thing that's exclusive to Lance as well is we have a, it's 12 volt. So inside this door here, you have a 12 volt adapter, USB, and your cable um, input as well. So now you can watch TV from the side, your awning can come out and can be shaded. You can also open up this window so it becomes a complete pass-through. This is a rear dinette featured unit which allows you to open this window and you can literally pass plates in, pass plates out, which is kind of a cool thing on this model. Additionally here with this bracket is, we have a Bluetooth speaker that's able to be moved from the inside to the outside, your picnic table and, and whatnot. The best part is, is that you can mount it right to the coach here, so you have great music that you can pair with, with your phone, iPhone, um, and whatever else that you're looking to, MP3 player, etc. On the back side of our 2075, we have a new feature, which is a bumper storage. So inside here, what we've done is that we put in an area to put your sewer hose and all those weird shaped uh, sewer attachments which come out today. Uh, this way it's an area that, that's contained that allows you to keep things in, a, you know, in an area that you want to keep separated from other items that you might not using. So you're not combining sewer hose stuff with your camping chairs and other items. You know, you don't really think about those things but they're really important uh, for use. Down below here we also have a trailer hitch um, which is basically not to tow something, but actually to put your bicycles, firewood, or any other type of options. Uh, this, this is rated for 140 pounds um, that you can basically attach any type of a trailer uh, adapted type part. As I mentioned earlier about our Euro windows that are here, you can see here that the window opens up fully. There's a little latch here that you can lock, and you can see the screen and your privacy. So if we lift this up, you get privacy or full screen. And you can also, on the inside, if you hit the latch, you can open it up and it becomes a complete pass-through. Notice how you have a bulb seal here, so there's no transfer of condensation um, from the outside wall to the inside wall. Really important. We also do an anti-wicking material here at Lance Campers, which prevents any moisture going into the sidewall and any type of lamination area. New also for our units is, is our new um, hybrid step, which is basically a steel and aluminum step that gives you a nice guard on here so you don't have a slip and fall um, on the step as we go in and out. And that all just retracts in. This particular model also has a new Euro door, um, which incorporates a nice uh, blind inside of the window, as well as a hard feature, and it's fully framed. One thing that's real important about a fully framed door is the door won't rack, so you know that it will close. Further features on our Lance 2075 and all of our trailer lines is we have a carefree awning, which basically on this model will come out the side as well as it has it on the rear. It does have capabilities with a wind sensor, so on a day like today as the wind is blowing, if the awning was out, it would automatically retract. Um, the nice thing about this awning too is that you have no side arms. Now what that means is that you don't have a head knocker, so we can give you an awning basically the full length of the unit. Other features on this particular model is you have another TV outlet, 110 outlet outside, another hookup for your stereo. We also have your outside light that basically turns to an amber light as well as a white light. The importance of that is like if you're camping in Florida or somewhere where you have endangered species like turtles, uh, sometimes they won't allow white light. So if you have a white light, you won't be allowed to camp there. This way you can change it to amber versus white. Another thing is, is that if you're outside, obviously the white light attracts bugs, so you turn it to amber. It won't be attracting the bugs, but sometimes you need that white light to see what's happening underneath your awning area. So that's a standard feature on all of our travel trailers as well as our truck campers. Something else that we've incorporated is uh, we had pass-through storage that went here. Now we have a generator, which is on the other side. So the convenience of having a pull-out tray is really nice. This way you're not unloading things in and out of the, of the unit. Uh, you can stack those black compartments with yellow tops or extra cases of water. But a lot of times when you pull stuff up, sometimes you're going to put it down on the ground. We give you a little shelf here, which is actually a folding table. You can take your items out, set it here, slide everything in, take your stuff down, and close it up. Oh, did I mention the folding table? 
let's say you have that experience where you're outside and you, you're looking over the ocean or maybe it's a lake or maybe it's just a scenic view. You can actually take your couple of folding chairs which are housed in the back, pull out your little folding table, slide your awning out about three or four feet if it's a rainy day or whatnot, set your table up and there's no need for picnic tables or anything like that because it comes with you. Additionally, this table can work inside if you need extra areas, if you have a hobby or something that you're looking at doing, this table is available to you as well. Nice thing is, there's a place for it. On everything that Lance builds, we have a place for everything that you might be taking camping. As I showed on the other side of the travel trailer, this here is actually your lithium battery, which is a go power. Um, one thing about lithium is that it does give you a complete 100% usage of the battery. So when you say 100 amp, you actually get 100 amps. It's not like a liquid battery where you might get 60, 70, 80% of the capacity. It's also lighter. Um, you're saving anywhere from 20 pounds plus potentially um, the difference in weight between a lithium battery and a, and a uh, water-filled battery. Another key feature on our unit here is additional solar panel. I mentioned that we had from the factory two 190 watt uh, panels on the roof, but if you want additional panels, um, basically they would plug in. Now remember, the solar panels are optional, but if you needed suitcase panels and things, they would be connected right here. All right, as we stand in front of our travel trailer here, on the 2075, you can see here that we have a skylight window, which actually opens uh, from the inside, as well as a front window that now opens as well. And these are all thermal pane windows. Um, so you don't get any condensation when you're sleeping inside. Now, to continue on on the outside, most trailers have a, a rock guard, which you'll see is featured here. Some of them could be made out of diamond plate or aluminum and things. And what we've done is that we've used a material that's called TPO, which is a thermal polyolefin. It's very similar to what's put onto a car bumper. And the nice thing about this is with the Lance is that it'll take a beating and it is repairable. But the other benefit of this to you as a consumer is that if you've never owned a travel trailer, or if you have, you get rocks that will hit this. But the biggest thing is that it's gonna hit the lead edge of the chassis. So if you're in an area where things can rust, you're gonna get pits here, all right? So now you're constantly sanding and painting. With the Lance, with our rock art, it protects that edge. You're buying an RV to go on vacation, not to wrench on it. Now we're in the bedroom area of our 2075. As you can see here, it's very airy. We actually have four opening windows um, in this bedroom. Actually, I take that back. We actually have five. So you have nice cross ventilation, front window that opens, as well as the skylight here. And then we also have a new hike event, which gives you more window, as well as an opening vent. It's really nice inside of this front bedroom. This also has a 60 by 80 Serta Interspring mattress queen bed that is actually a residential size, meaning that it's 80 inches long, not 74. So you can use fitted queen sheets on this bed. But looking around, you'll also see that, um, that we've notched this area here. So when you're sleeping, you're not sleeping against the wall. It gives you an area here to put your tablet, your cell phone, or possibly, you know, drink or your book or whatever it is. And as we go back to when I mentioned tablet, everybody has their own USB charge port. So you have your 12 volt outlets as well as um, outlets to, for USB to charge up any type of device. Now, some, one other key thing about when you're camping is if you're at the age where you need to use a CPAP, something to consider is that with the 12 volt outlet, you can get a little cigarette lighter inverter and then plug your CPAP machine right into that. Therefore, if you're boondock camping, you're not reliant on 120 power to basically run your CPAP machine. A little inverter will power your 120 volt CPAP machine. I'm sitting here in our 2075 in our rear dinette model. What's nice about this is that there's windows all around you. Now some things when you're considering purchasing a unit is actual comfort of a dinette. It's real important that you actually sit in a dinette. You'll notice here that we have a table that actually moves in all different directions. So if somebody needed to, was sitting across the way and needed to get out, or somebody who has a little belly like I do, I can actually move it and slide out, whereas the table isn't right into me. So it's a really nice feature that's here. Um, this also makes up into a bed. This just compresses down, locks, 
cushions fall down, and you almost have a queen size bed back here. So this is a really unique model in that we all have basically dual sleeping and privacy with a central bathroom. And we'll show you the bathroom in just a minute. But let me point out a couple other features back here in the dinette. So if you're on your phone or you're playing your music and you know, you're thinking, uh oh, battery's going down, what do I do? You actually have a spot here on this counter that allows you to basically lay your phone down, it'll charge. For anybody who's um, you know, bringing bottles of you know, wine or something like that, uh, we also have a nice little counter that lifts up here that has storage for bottle items or just straight um, storage. Underneath the dinette here, um, on the back side, you have storage. Underneath both of these uh, cushions here, you also have additional storage. And notice the abundant storage all the way across the top. The new doors, they're all self-closing, they go up and they basically hold. So if you're sitting here and you know that there's something right here, you can actually grab them. And you think a unique thing with Lance as well is that the cabinets all connect. So if you had a longer item, there's actually holes. So if we open up these two things, you can see here how they're connected. So you can put long items, so you have bags of chips or something, uh, you can actually wedge them um, in between the two cabinets without a problem. A new feature that we've also offered on our 2020 product, just in the new models that were being built right now, the 2075 and the 2445, is the ASA in command system. What this is, is that it's a fully functional system. So in order to operate your awnings, you just hit a button, the awning goes out. Turn on your water pump, um, everything, your systems, it monitors everything. It also gives you the capabilities of monitoring your 12 volt system as well, which is a separate monitor panel, but it's all incorporated in the new system. One of the features that's really important on the in command system is the what if factor. What if power goes out? What if my awning's out and the electronics fail? With this system here, you actually have a switch down at the main brain that, that's inside of the system that you can go there, turn a knob, activate a momentary switch or a button so you can run your awning in or out, turn on or off your water pump uh, without trying to diagnose the whole electronic system. So basically it's a dual system type of product um, the ASA in command system, it's for you. It's real nice to camp with a Lance. Everything is push button, we're camping. I'm standing in the galley area of this 2075, and you can see that we've incorporated a Euro design two burner stove, as well as a nice round sink here. One thing to consider is that if you're looking at uh, RVs, is that most everything that comes in an RV, in terms of what goes in a, in a galley area, is round. So this way you're actually conserving water because if you have a square uh, sink and whatnot, you're actually wasting water. So by having a round sink, you're actually conserving water um, on a trailer like this, which is really important. Now, this trailer is 20 feet. And if you'll notice that the weight on this, the dry weight is gonna be in the low 4,000 pounds. So it's really, really light. Um, it's obviously towable behind something that has about a 6,000 pound tow capacity uh, without a problem. And again, that's featured out um, if you take away some of the optional features and like that, you can always get the weight down. Now, one other thing in the galley area that I'll talk about is we have full pull-out drawers. What's nice about this is you can actually stack your pots and pans and things inside of here. And if you'll notice, we have all self-closing drawers too inside of the lance. So you'll have two drawers here. So rather than trying to fight into a cabinet, uh, we're giving you a big space to house all of your items that you potentially might be using inside of this particular unit. Now as an option, we also have a microwave that can mount up to the top here, which is not featured in this particular model, but it is available. As you can see, I'm not a small guy, and we're standing inside of the 2075 bathroom. There's plenty of room to change your clothes, so if you're camping with two couples or whatnot, you need a little privacy, you can change here. Good feature about this unit here too is that I'm six foot, a little on the heftier side, and I can fit inside here as a nice pool curtain allows you to take a shower with a handheld, which is right here. It's really important when you look at an RV to check out all of the features. In other words, get in the shower, try it out, see how comfortable it is. You know, with the toilet, if you have for facilities, it's real nice. If you sit down on the toilet, make sure that there's plenty of room. And as you can see here in this 2075, um, there's plenty of room within this bathroom area to function. Additionally, we have a nice area counter with a basically a raised bowl sink that allows you to use your mirror and have places to set things and still have a nice wash basin 
um, inside of the bathroom area. This 2075 that we've just been looking at is heavy on features, light on weight, and the best part is big on quality.